Hello everyone, I'm Frank Burgos and this is Ugly Flexo and we're going to look at a three-part system that actually puts tools in practice to what I uh, spoke about a couple of months ago in a 10-part video series. If you recall that series, uh, what I'm about to do now uh, is runs perfectly parallel to what I discussed and, uh, and it happens to be that the numbers work out well. Uh, if uh, this is your first time seeing it and you're in Flexo, uh, you're getting ready to see a pretty neat thing for uh, calculating uh, ink formulas in ratio form and working off inks, uh, old inks into new inks and stuff like that. So this should be pretty cool. So let's start. The first thing we're going to look at is a form. Now this is all done in Excel, okay? And we're looking at a form. And uh, this form helps somebody blending ink gather a certain amount of information uh, that goes along with what we talked about. But let's go ahead and just start filling this and it should make sense after a while. Okay. Sometimes we want to uh, subtract uh, in the process the amount that a container of ink uh, might weigh or a container with uh, some device that carries it or whatever this is known as the tear weight okay and the and the example I spoke about a couple of months ago we didn't use any value for tear weight so we're gonna make it zero okay now the colors that we blended in our example were warm red and rubine red now ultimately we uh, also did some reflex blue but let's not do that just yet. Let's act as though uh, we were just starting the ink blending process, okay? And we started off, as we said, with 22.5 pounds of warm red and um, 7.5 pounds of, of rubine red, okay? And that was our starting point. And uh, in this case, what you will do with your, this form there is after you've blended that amount of ink, you'll go to the press, add it, print a sample and place that sample here an actual piece of that sample and the purpose for doing that is so that you can trace as you go along mixing different color batches you can follow uh, the trends okay so if you recall our example now there's 30 pounds of ink here the first time we went through the process we lost no ink so we would come over here and we put 30 pounds is the amount of ink we returned with and we decided then that we wanted to add one pound of reflex blue so then we come over here and we put reflex in this here and by the way you would be doing this manually I'm doing this uh, I'm typing this in so you can see it in on my computer but you would actually be walking around with this form as you're mixing your ink and we didn't ask add any reflex blue at this stage but at this stage we added two pounds of reflex blue okay and we took it back to the press and notice we're not doing any calculating yet you see values for ratios here but we're gonna populate these uh, places after we enter these values here and here and other values into a calculator that we have for this purpose okay so after adding this two pounds of reflex we come down here and we attach a sample to it and as you recall in our example we wanted to add one more pound of reflex blue to see how that would work and we lost some ink in the process because here we started with 30 pounds we added two pounds that would be 32 pounds but we lost three pounds and we start with 29 pounds okay and what we do is we end up adding another one pound of reflex and notice that that's directly across from the reflex row and we attach the sample over here and at that point we liked it okay so right now where we are is we've gone through we've blended ink one time put a sample down here we brought we we lost no ink added some reflex put a sample down here we lost three pounds had 29 pounds to start added one pound of reflex and we put a sample here and we liked what we saw now let's watch what happens when we put this information in a calculator designed for that purpose